Hey everybody and welcome back. My name is Subi and I am an embroidery artist and today is Tech Talk with Sue, which is awesome. We're going to be working on this guy, the Tartarus V2. The last video I showed you guys how I use it in embroidery and I used it on E4, but you can use it in any program that you digitize with. I will actually be showing you guys a couple different programs just so you can see how fast and easy it is to use and it's very comfy but I wanted to show you guys how easy it is to program in the last video I gave you guys some ideas of how you can personalize it and program it this video I'm simply going to show you how easy it is to do so if I'm working in e4 just because I happen to have it up hatch would be similar uh, not as many pretty pictures but the short key shortcut keys are just about the same I'm gonna select both things and I want to group it. Now, I don't have it set up. I have ungroup because I use it all the time. I don't necessarily use group, but now I want to add it on. So I can see by hovering, and most embroidery softwares are going to be the same, but I can see by hovering that it's control G, the shortcut to group. So control G. So let's go to our program. Now it's called Synapse. And when you buy, you know, this specific one is the brand name is Razor. When you buy the Razor, you will get a link to download it. And it's quite a simple program. You pick which things you have. I have a mouse pad, I have a mouse, I have a keyboard, and I have this shortcut keyboard. Um, and it's, you know, I have a lot, but <laughs> that's okay. This is just how we like it. But you can see the green is the color of razor, which is neat. These are the ones that I have programmed. And if you hover over them, it tells you what I've programmed them. Control U. We we know what that one is. That is ungroup. Uh, copy paste. Remember I was telling you guys in the last one, and it shows you all the different ones. Look at all this for the the um, uh, kind of dial thing on the side right here. You can change all these functions that you could nudge. It's keyboard left, so it's the same as the arrow keys. This one I have enter because it's really convenient to click it with your thumb when you're digitizing in Hatch or E4 for an enter because that is something you use all the time. Especially helpful when you're using a pen and touch or just a pen like I have a pen Cintiq or you know monitor like that that you don't have to reach for your keyboard. It's right there and it's really convenient and I think enter is probably one of the most used ones so all you have to do let's put it somewhere up here so right now it's programmed to keyboard R and I want to change that so all I did was click on it and look at all these things you can do so you can literally do just about anything with this a joystick move the default key is R so you could set them up if, if you needed to do letters all the time I don't know how that would work mouse functions a macro which means like a, a group thing um, switch key map which is this is this whole thing here is a key map switch profile so i have a uh, profile my computer's name is malloy don't ask it's just funny hyper shift that's a whole different thing that we'll switch to but you can even launch a program in windows with that so if you just wanted to launch the hatch you can just set up a key and you just click it and hatch will open you can go get your cup of coffee or whatever and when you come back to your desk it'll be open so instead of searching for it you know searching for the little coat you can do that it's so fantastic you can program window shortcuts text function or you can completely disable it if there happens to be a key that you hit by accident all the time you know just kind of moving and putting your hand down that's what you need to do is disable it i haven't had to do that um i have a couple of different profiles i'm just showing you the one that i'm using just to get started with because uh, the other ones i have it all filled up and it really doesn't show you anything so i made a separate profile for beginner me to start off let's go to the keyboard function because that's what we want to change it to so we want to do control control u and all i did was simply type it in there and remember we have number 10 and let's save that 
and now it filled in. That's how easy it is. You just pick it. You pick an empty key. It's really nice. The picture looks exactly like what you're working on. You pick an empty key and you key in what you want and it's done. And that's all you have to do. Like literally, that's all you have to do. So let's undo this or let's actually, uh, it didn't group. Oh, uh -huh. so let's select both and let's hit number 10. And you will see that everything is grouped. Let's ungroup. That's number 19. So you're probably remembering them too after this. Number 19, now they're ungrouped and we can move them separately. Let's bring them together. Let's do number 10. And now they're grouped together. So see how easy that is to program this guy? And it's uh, so quick and easy to do. Look, new. Just like that, you don't have to put your hands on the keyboard. It's just this first number. I use it all the time, so I brought it closer. So I think you guys should give this a try and see what you think. I personally, and Dawn actually has one as well, of course. Um, we absolutely love it, and I think it's fantastic. Um, super easy to use. I mean, it couldn't be any easier programming it like this. Uh, it couldn't be any easier. Super easy to use, such a wide variety of things that you can program that you can pretty much make a shortcut for anything you want. So basically this is what makes your life easier with programming, with digitizing. It's not complicated. It's a fantastic program. It's a fantastic piece of kit. And I shall be using it in more of my digitizing videos so you can see how functional I am with this. So thanks everyone for watching. Don't forget to try new things, especially when they're tech things that help out with your embroidery. And uh, don't forget to like this video, share with everyone you know that uh, you know could benefit from this video because I think having a keyboard shortcut thing is going to improve everyone's workflow and uh, I'll stitch you guys later.